Hello Elim Hope Church kids, I'm Gemma and today we're going to look at another Bible verse. Now the last few talks you've had are all about fear and what fear can do to you but right now I'm going to look at ways that we can overcome the fear, be protected by the fear and Jesus gives us the perfect things to protect us, protect our mind spiritually, to protect us physically and I'm going to read this verse. Now some of you might know what I'm about to say because it's all about the armour of God. Now before I read it I have a little song that we can sing to do with the armour of God. Are you ready? It goes. Helmet, breastplate, sword and shield, sword and shield. Helmet, breastplate, sword and shield, sword and shield. And the belt of truth and sandals of peace. Helmet, breastplate, sword and shield, sword and shield. <laughs> I nearly fell off my chair then. You can sing that as many times as you want to remember the armour of God. Helmet, breastplate, sword and shield, sword and shield. And the belt of truth and sandals of peace. Helmet, breastplate, sword and shield, sword and shield. Now, I'm going to read what they actually mean. This is from Ephesians 6, verse 10. Finally... Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armour of God so you can stand against the devil's schemes. Now, coronavirus is not of God. God wants you to be healthy and well. So I'm going to say it's one of the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of the dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realm. Now, you may not get coronavirus, but you might be, be filled with boredom, stuck in the house, and that might be a real difficulty to you, and that might, you might need to spiritually overcome the fact that you're stuck in the house, because it's not good for our brains to do nothing. So perhaps use this verse to protect your head, protect your minds, Therefore, put on the full armour of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand firm. Then with the belt of truth buckled round your waist, the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of the peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith. Which, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for the Lord's people. Pray also for me, that whenever I speak, words may be given me so that I am fiercely so I will fiercely make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it fiercely as I should. Now, if you look in your Bibles, Ephesians 6, verse 10 to 20, you should be able to read that at home with your parents. Some of you might have a cool Bible with me, like me. Mine is a journal doodly one, so I... Do lots of drawings. I am not a great artist, but I doodle as I read and I highlight things. Some of you might have children's Bibles who might need to use your parents' Bible for this. Um, but have a read of it. And I wonder, whilst you're not at school, can you make the armour of God? I would love to see your creations. Can you make a helmet, a breastplate, a sword and a shield, the belt of truth and the sandals of peace? Can you make them? Well, each day in the Barnwell household, we're going to put on our spiritual armour every day to protect us from arguments, 
to protect us from boredom, to protect us from spiritual attacks that we could get. Because in this household, we're going to trust in God, we're going to focus on him, and we're not going to let arguments and boredom and things like that attack us. We're going to be spiritually sound. So we're going to put on our armour of God. I'm going to sing the song to you one last time so it gets stuck in your head and it will drive you crazy and your parents crazy for the rest of the day. Are you ready? Helmet, breastplate, sword and shield, sword and shield. Helmet, breastplate, sword and shield, sword and shield. And the belt of truth and sandals of peace. Helmet, breastplate, sword and shield, sword and shield. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to read Ephesians 6. 10 to 20. Bye.